Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Why, hello there. Hello, guys. Again, thanks to our, our patrons for your support. You guys keep us going. So, as you see here, this, this reads the moment captured after a major gas explosion at the Sandman Hotel in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, this is just basically a developing story. Uh, it's happening as we speak. And there have been injuries, and <laughs> just during like the last 10 minutes, it's it's gone up from uh, 10 to 15 people injured. There's It's curious because, you see, some are calling it a gas explosion. This one right here, this is Diane Anglin, news junkie, at, catch me at Fox 4 News, says... Witnesses tell her they did not smell a strong odor, odor, sorry, or odor of gas. One man says closer to the scene, it smelled like paint burning. Interesting. A major explosion, as you can see. Again, this is at the Sandman Hotel. And that gets me thinking of, you know, Mr. Sandman, send me a dream, no, right? No. Is this some sort of message sandman enter sandman uh yeah it's curious uh, we did some looking at this and the sandman was built in 1920 it's one of the taller buildings in in dallas fort worth and it's owned in, by northland properties they they acquired this in 2019 who is northland properties it's the parent corpor corporation company of multiple hotel chains, restaurants, sports teams, including the Dallas uh, Stars. And it was founded in 1963 and owned by the Gaglardi family. Bob Gaglardi is the founder and chairman of the board. Tom Gaglardi is the president of Northland Properties Corporation. It's the largest privately held hospitality group in North America with properties in Canada, U.S., and also the U.K. and Ireland. Their assets are valued at close to $8 billion. Uh, they've had some run-ins over the years and been fined over the years uh, for various reasons. And, you know, Cindy's picking up that it's some sort of warning. And, you know, again, it's, it's easy in these times to say something is a warning like that. But then the question is, who? Who? You know, with, and before we go on to this next piece, when, when you <clears throat> look at what's going on with all the illegal migrants in the country, the fact that, you know, obviously we've been infiltrated by other countries that are currently at war um, with us in various ways. It, and, and another big topic today has been the talk of the cartels in massive numbers in Texas. You know, who is this? Mm -hmm. I, I know. I mean, the, there's conversation going on here that we can't see. What I picked up is there's some kind of a, a warning and the information is they're not going along to get along. They're, this this family or this company is not uh, playing by someone else's rules. They don't like to. Uh, this is a family that's not just going to lay down and, and take uh, orders from, from other controllers. So this is what's going to happen. And this is the information that I'm picking up on. I mean... Maybe there has something to do with they're not um, housing certain people coming into the United States and they're not just going to lay down and do it. And somebody sent them a message saying, well, you better. Or this is going to happen one after the next, after the next, after the next. So we'll have to kind of just watch this and see uh, underlying information, underlying conversation going on. Uh, but I mean, of course, we'll never be able to prove any of this, but this is the type of energy that's coming out of it. Yeah, well, that <clears throat> could definitely make sense to me. Um, again, encourage everybody in these times to feel into a situation. What do you feel? You know, start to go beyond using just the logical mind. 
Because, again, as we know, uh, so many things have been so orchestrated on so many different levels. So we do send out prayers and positive intentions for everybody uh, that is in the midst, midst of this developing incident. We have an Israeli airstrike on the town of Kerbet Salem in southern Lebanon earlier today. And it resulted in a successful assassination of a top Hezbollah commander. And this has uh, certain elements vowing revenge and speaking of burning Tel Aviv to the ground. That is definitely something to take note of as this war is obviously threatening to expand. Meanwhile, lots of curious things going on. Lots of curious things. In case you missed it, uh, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, it was given to our attention uh, that he was seriously ill and has in fact been out of his position due to that severe illness. It's interesting that some people are actually uh, putting out there and wondering if he's still alive. I've seen uh, some conjecture going on saying that he was known to be uh, conferring with others about the current war situation going on and might have actually been targeted and perhaps even is no longer with us. Meanwhile, here you have Matt Gates, a uh, representative here, calling on the House Armed, Fo- Armed uh, Services Committee chairman, Mike Rogers, to bring Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin and Deputy Defense Secretary Kathleen Hicks over to the Pentagon's, uh, well, I should say again, over the Pentagon's failure to communicate his hospitalization to President Biden and a number of other top national security uh, officials. So basically saying, why didn't anybody know that the acting uh, Secretary of Defense was not in fact uh, doing his job and in his position, but apparently very ill, if not critically ill, And so, you know, there's rumors out there that he might not even be with us anymore. And it's interesting, here you have Fox News. uh, Lloyd Austin's chief of staff was sick and failed to notify anybody of his hospitalization because the chief of staff was sick. Then, you know, I'm going to jump ahead just a smidge here. We have this from Elon Musk. Have you heard this disinformation? And, yeah, you you can guess what it's all about. So, um, we're going to a different stage here. We are going to a different stage. As we know, there were certain things that were absolutely obligatory. I'm going to use that word. For people that were in the military, you had to do it. Otherwise, you know, you would no longer be in the military. So is this another sign of the fact that certain things are catching up? Or is this something else? Meanwhile, there's so many illegals in the country. Some of them are just plain old criminals. Uh, And here you have an illegal migrant with four deportations, three DUIs, convictions. He was released by a judge in Colorado after his third DUI incident on probation and community service. Four days later, he killed Melissa Powell, 46, and her son, Riordan, 16, during another DWI. You know, again, it's it's just the case in these times where we have to be so cautious about everything, so careful about everything. You know, again, listen to that intuition, that spidey sense. If somebody feels like they might be dangerous to you, then they probably are dangerous to you. And just go along with your your gut. We had a 6.8, according to EMSC, and uh, the USGS shows it as a 6.7. Some sources were saying 7.0 in the Philippines, 68 kilometers deep. Uh, No word of any injuries at the moment. Uh, 68 kilometers, you know, it's it's not shallow, but it's not deep. This is one, thankfully, that hit in the area. Uh, where there is uh, not really a lot of population, uh, but potential for a tsunami, as we see here, would always be there. 
Then in South Africa, we have Johannesburg flooded after an unusually strong rainfall. Yeah, the floods just never seem to stop at this point in time. It's been one after another. In case you missed that Alaskan uh, airline that had a window pop out, uh, 737 MAX uh, have been grounded and check they're checking them. And here you see United finds loose bolts on plug doors. This is not good. Uh, and I, it just makes me think about the mental, physical, and cognitive abilities of so many people on so many different levels, from the pilots to the mechanics to everybody at this point in time that's done a certain thing. I know. I mean, pilots, mechanics, inspectors, uh, people that help inspect the inspectors, people that just come out on occasion. I mean, when was this found? It takes a lot to make a bolt like that get loose. I mean, it doesn't just happen overnight or anything. And if there's they're grounding that many for a situation like this, I don't know. There's something that's been going on for a long time, if you ask me. And as I've said before, um, I, I do not believe in this world you can become a billionaire without being in the system. I just think that's an impossibility. The system won't allow somebody to have that type of influence. influence. Yeah, exactly. Without making sure that it's in that person is in the system. And I know that's unpopular with some that, that want to put their faith and trust in uh, somebody that we all know whatever person that may be, whether we're talking uh, the person that's in charge of X right now or somebody else that's been in Casablanca, you know, I would not trust anybody with that type of sway and power in the system. We have to look outside of the system because, again, the system, it's not that it's not working. (laughs) It's working as it was intended to. And meanwhile, we have People protesting, shutting down the Manhattan Bridge, Williamsburg Bridge, Brooklyn Bridge, Holland Tunnel. And of course, they take this in a, um, in a political sense without seeing that it, the political stuff is just obvious. Uh, anybody can see that. I mean, it, it's something you know that, that doesn't take a lot to uh, see into it. And it's so obvious, it's, it's on purpose. It's looking beyond the obvious and looking at at the deeper levels that we need to really get people focusing on. Mm -hmm. Oh, we do. We do. And no matter um, if you're taking a side, there's going to be cognitive dissonance to to be dealt with. I think that's something that can be quite dangerous when we're when we're face with things in life because it really can put people in danger if you don't recognize something for what it is and you just walk out there. You could get yourself hurt. I think we need to see stuff for what it is. And this kitty, this kitty, he's not going to ignore anything. He's taking no chances. Yeah, yeah. And and what happens, just like this kitty, we end up fighting ourselves. This is the whole point of the system, you know. And just like this kitty, you know, he's taking it out ultimately on himself. And we have to start looking at ourselves as, as one humanity, all part of the same planet, But that doesn't mean, see, they have us so perfectly divided into these left and right camps. And on some issues, you know, one side is more correct than others. But ultimately, we look like this kitty. We're just fighting ourselves. That's all we're doing. And doesn't this, I mean, the kitty doesn't look too smart fighting himself, does he? No, but I like him. (laughs) But he is adorable. Absolutely. So again, guys, we, we thank you for being part of this family. Please do share your comments. Much love. Stay prepared. Source bless. Namaste. Namaste.